All right, Dr. Jacobson, he's here. Man, I'm really nervous about this. Don't worry, Jack. You know, the main thing to remember is that it's important for Tom to feel like this is an open and safe place to share. You, we don't want to ambush him. So I'm going to hide behind this ficus, and then I'm going to jump out and surprise him. Man, sorry I'm late. I, I was trying to find your car outside, and I... Uh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? No, Tom. I'm sorry to lie to you like this. My car isn't broken down. I just needed you to get here. This is Dr. Jacobson, my therapist. Uh, I'm also a psychologist. Emphasis on the psycho part. <laughs> it's funnier when you read it. Uh, you know, uh, well, uh, your friend Jack here has been seeing me for a while, and uh, I thought it would be a good idea for all of us to get together and talk. Get together and talk? What's this about? I just want to talk about the state of our friendship. You know, really talk. When was the last time we did that? Huh? Tom. Why don't we have a seat? Mm. Mm. So, Tom, Jack tells me you guys have been friends for 15 years. Wow! That's a whole lot of history. Tell me about how you guys met. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Well, you tell it. You always tell it best. We were roommates in college. Wow, you make it sound so exciting. Well, that's what happened. What do you want? Details, some passion. You know, something that shows it meant something to you. Okay, this is getting kind of weird. Can I leave? Um, why don't we not focus so much on the past, guys? Uh, Jack, why don't you tell us just a little bit of what you see happening in this relationship? What do you want to happen? I, we're friends like we've been for the past 15 years. Exactly, Tom. And if that's all you want from this, the same old, same old, and that's fine, but it's not enough for me. Wait, wait a second. Is this because I wouldn't go to that rock and roll yoga thing that you wanted? It was called rock and roga. I, I think what Jack is trying to say, Tom, is that he wants to see the two of you uh, doing new things together. You know, like adding excitement to your friendship. Oh, so what? Now I'm boring? <laughs> of course not. Pizza and poker every Friday night. It's like something out of a novel. Sarcasm is not helpful, Jack. Sorry. I'm just hurt because I don't know what happened to us. I mean, we used to be inseparable. We had inside jokes and nicknames. You know, you used to just come over just to hang out, just because. Yeah. Then I got married. You don't have to remind me. Uh, let's don't bring other people into this right now. Um, you know, I'm sensing a lot of hurt feelings right now in this room. Uh, but you know what else I'm feeling? A lot of love. <laughs> Can you feel it? Why did I even answer the phone? And you know, that's another thing. You only want to see me when there's a problem you can solve. You know, I, I just need to vent a little bit. You said your radiator was busted. And did you even ask how that made me feel? This is pointless. Oh, guys, friendships take work. I mean, and sometimes that work is difficult and uncomfortable. You know, the question I have to ask is, are you willing to put in the work? Well, are you? I went to the Hawks game the other night with somebody else. What? Who? You don't know him. It's just some guy from work. It didn't mean anything. It was just a game. Is that what our friendship is to you? Just a game? Oh, man, don't be this way. I can't even look at you anymore. Don't shut down now, Jack. You, this is the communication that you have wanted. Keep going, Tom. I don't know. I guess... It's just... Things have just kind of gotten out of control. I mean, one minute we're college roommates, going to bars, singing karaoke. The next minute we're middle-aged, married with kids. I guess I was just, just looking for that, that spark, you know? I know how you feel, but it didn't take a Hawks game to teach me that. I know. I, I'm sorry. I, I, sh I shouldn't, have, shouldn't have done that. I, I messed up. Remember when we were roommates in college? We'd go out to bars and 
and sing karaoke together. He was the Wilson to my Phillips. I know there's pain. Why do you lock yourself up in these chains? No one can change your life except for you. Don't ever let anyone step all over you. Jack, he is literally reaching out to you. Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Till then, baby, are you gonna let them hold you down and make you cry? Don't you know? Don't you know? You can change. Things will go your way. If you hold on for one more day. Nailed it. It's good to be back. Thanks, Doc. No problem. That'll be $875.